Hello everyone! In this video we are going to cover the uniform distribution or rectangular distribution. Uniform distribution is one of the continuous distributions and has a random variable x restricted to a finite interval a comma b. So our uniform distribution is denoted by x uniform with two parameters a comma b where a and b is the interval so outside the interval our probability density function is zero and we have some height here and outside of the interval is our function is zero and we have some height. So this height, which is f of x, here, is 1 over b minus a. Because the area under the curve has to be equal to 1 by the properties of PDF. So the area of the rectangle is length times width. So the length is b minus a and height is unknown but the area is equal to 1 so b minus a times let's say unknown x is equal to 1 so here from here we can solve for x is equal to 1 over b minus a so height is here 1 over b minus a so we can write pdf the probability density function of fx of x is equal to 1 over b minus a in the interval which is x is between a and b and 0 elsewhere or otherwise. Now let's find the expectation and the variance. We know that Uniform random variable is continuous random variable. And by the definition, expectation or mean denoted by the Greek letter mu for the continuous random variable is integral from negative infinity to positive infinity x times density function dx. Now we are going to integrate the density function times x between negative infinity to positive infinity. Here our interval is clear because less than a there is no contribution so integral is here 0 and after b the contribution is 0 so we are technically integrating between a and b. So from the definition, we can change the intervals of the limit. From a to b, x times the density function between a and b, which is 1 over b minus a dx. 1 over b minus x is the constant, so we can pull it in front of the integral sign. An integral from a to b, we're integrating just x. Antiderivative of x is x squared over 2. So 1 over b minus a times x squared over 2 from the intervals of a to b. Now we're going to use the fundamental theorem of calculus. f of b minus f of a. 1 over b minus a times instead of x we're going to use the upper boundary b, b squared we can pull one half to the front as well. So b squared and then we're going to plug in the lower boundary which is a squared. So it's going to be b squared minus a squared over 2 times b minus a. Now the numerator is the difference of two squares which is b minus a times b plus a. 
and in the denominator we have 2 times b minus a. b minus a cancels each other, so we obtain b plus a over 2. So our expectation is a plus b or b plus a, which is commutative, over 2. So this is the average, this is the mu of the uniform random variable. Now let's find the variance. Variance of x by definition is expectation of x squared minus expectation squared. We already found the expectation which is a plus b the quantity squared a plus b over 2 the quantity squared we're going to use this for expectation squared now we need to find expectation of x squared so we're going to find this again using the definition of integral from negative infinity to infinity this time we're going to multiply x squared times the density function between the interval So by definition, negative infinity to positive infinity, x squared times the density function. We can change the limits of interval from A to B because outside of the interval there is no contribution to the area. So it's going to be x squared times the density function which is 1 over B minus A dx. Again, this is the constant, so we can pull to the front. And antiderivative of x squared is x to the third over 3, and we can pull 3 to the front as well. And limits of integration is a to b. So we have 1 over 3 times b minus a times b cubed minus a cubed. So we obtained b cubed minus a cubed over 3 times b minus a. So what we obtained here is the expectation of x squared. Now we are going to apply the formula of variance. So we are going to have b cubed minus a cubed over 3 times b minus a minus we need to square the expectation. If we square this, we're going to obtain, this is the binomial expansion, so it's going to be a squared plus 2 times ab plus b squared over 4. So let's write it here. a squared plus 2 times ab plus b squared over Now here, let's expand b cubed minus a cubed. By the Pascal triangle, b cubed minus a cubed is equal to b minus a, the first term minus the second term, times b squared plus b times a plus a squared. Here it is a little confusing because the terms switched. It is actually a cubed minus b cubed is a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. This is the actual formula. But here the terms are switched so we are going to use b as the first term and a as the second term. So you need to be careful about that point. Now we can use the cubic expansion on top. So b minus a times b squared plus, we can say a times b plus a squared, all over 3 times b minus a, minus a squared plus 2 times a b plus b squared over 4. Here we can cancel out b minus a with this and we can use the common denominator 12 so multiply everything by 4 multiply everything by 3 
So we're going to have 4 times b squared plus ab plus a squared minus 3 times a squared plus 2 times ab plus b squared all over 3 times 4 which is 12. Now we're going to simplify. So if we distribute we're going to have 4b squared plus 4ab plus 4a squared minus and if we distribute negative 3 inside negative 3a squared negative 6ab and then negative 3b squared all over 12 and let's let's simplify we have 4a squared minus 3a squared here we obtain just a squared and here we obtain just negative 2ab and here we obtain just b squared and if we rewrite everything this is going to be b squared minus 2 times ab plus a squared over 12 we can also factor this out this is the binomial expansion of b minus a the quantity squared so that's the variance so our variance of x is equal to b minus a the quantity squared over 12 so far now we know the expectation and the variance of uniform distribution and we obtained the probability density function now we're going to find the CDF which is cumulative distribution function let's do that cumulative distribution function of continuous random variables capital F of X by definition is equal to probability that x is less than or equal to little x so using this definition we can convert this into integral from negative infinity to x of the pdf and let's use different variable dw so let's use w here okay so we know that our lower boundary is starting from a because anything before a is not contributing so we're going to change the limits of integral from a to x so that is equal to integral from a to x our density function is 1 over b minus a that we found from the first part dw now we're going to integrate this integral so 1 over b minus a is the constant we are technically integrating 1 so integral of 1 with respect to w is just w so 1 over b minus a times w from a to x upper boundary is x and lower boundary is a so 1 over b minus a times x minus a so this integral is equal to x minus a over b minus a so now we can write the cdf cumulative distribution function cdf which is capital x capital f of x is equal to it is 0 if x is less than a in between the interval that's what we found x minus a over b minus a if the x is in the interval of a and b and it is 1 if x is greater than b now we can graph the cdf 
So this is our interval A and this is our interval B. Up to A our CDF is 0. Between A and B we have some linear function which is x minus a over b minus a which is something like this and up to infinity it is 1 and this height is 1 so this is our CDF function at the second part we are going to do some examples of uniform random variables see you at part 2 thank you for watching